All right, so we see here is a chart for the 20th, 20th of December, 2020. Now this whole aspect is more or less around from, um, about from the 19th to the 20, uh, 22nd ish. The main things to look at is, um, the sun goes into, into, um, Capricorn. Uh, probably I believe around the 22nd, 21st, something around that. And um, Jupiter and Saturn enter from Capricorn uh, into Aquarius, finally. Now we had this all the way back, I believe, in May this year. That's when... Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember, I think it was... I believe we had a little bit of pressure taken off and then as the retrograde started we had more pressure put on societally that is and and also you know internally I've noticed um, we're getting back to that stage or that feeling where where um, it feels like you can do things in your life again it feels like you can kind of be yourself and um, it's still tense and still, it's still like the wounds are still there after a battle. But we're, we're pushing forward. <clears throat> now, um, I believe we're pushing forward into a, into more or less a winter. If you look here at uh, Capricorn and Aquarius, uh, you got Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. These are the three signs of winter, while you have uh, Libra, Scorpio, and um, Sagittarius being the three signs of um, autumn. Now, autumn isn't quite that cold. It is. You've still got that heat, that residual heat from summer. Winter, as we know, is the cold season. Uh, spring being pretty cold as well, because this is this is um, uh, midnight right here when when all that residual afternoon heat fades. So the sun is just about to lose its residual heat. Uh, actually, Mercury as well. Funny enough, and Venus, and um, over here though we have. Jupiter and Saturn, which have already crossed. See, Saturn takes about three years per per um, sign. Jupiter can take about a year, year and a half, um, depending on you know the retrogrades. And um, they've just crossed a third of the winter. Now, obviously, we've had a pretty downturn year we've had you know it's a pretty harsh year um and the, the last two years they've kind of been a lead up to it really the last three years has just been a bit you know it's been slowly going down if you notice the energy you were really perceptive and you notice that saturn then um you may have noticed you know things failed in your life that things your know, relationships broke up businesses went haywire might have lost a job or something and um, a lot of that is due to this Saturn influence is hitting the absolute bottom and this only happens every uh, every 28 years so we really don't need to worry too much about it anymore the main thing is just it was an incredibly slow kind of um, it's like trying to crawl or trying to like walk through mud really to um to climb up climb up this this area here as you can see from both saturn and jupiter just because of all the retrogrades because time feels like it slows down when you get into um capricorn season time just slows down it just feels like it's slow for example next um solar well next um sign once since the sun gets into uh capricorn in about a week Things are going to feel slow, they're going to feel boring to an extent. They're going to feel new and different though. 
and it's going to be very subtle. Um, so keep your eyes out open for that. Your life may change a little bit. It may be slow still, but um, yeah, it really is just it's it's like a cold engine right now. You know, the entire world is a it's a cold engine that's just been battered and it just you know it's kind of taking a bit of a break so it can be okay to take a bit of a break but we are we are getting out of the mud so um at the same same point it's good to start thinking about future a little bit to even plan ahead a little um you know if you need to buy things start putting out orders if you need to um I don't know make something or do something start you know thinking about doing it and getting it done and all that because eventually once once um, at least Jupiter's kind of about half a year I would say um once it's it's about halfway through this sign and Saturn's kind of fully pushed out of, of um, Capricorn you know things are going to be a bit different um probably on the digital front so next year potentially um because i'm wondering if there's going to be another lockdown i would say we're going to have on and off lockdowns until about um definitely for the next three years um potentially for the next six though i think some stuff to do with um I would say freedom will definitely be challenged over the next three years because of um where where Saturn is. So um potentially after those three years, people just won't have it anymore, and you know they'll just they'll be done. But uh, I'm not looking forward to Sun in in Capricorn in about a week. I, I hate Capricorn. <laughs> it's so it's so slow. It's like. I actually I love the other Earth signs, um, you know, Virgo and Taurus, because they, they embody that nice relaxation, that nice um, nurturing kind of aspect, that just grounding aspect of the Earth. And then you've got you've got um, you've got Saturn, which is just it's just strictness. It's a very strict Earth, and it's it's like you're trying to it it um think of it this way. It, you can take a nap, you can try to relax, but um, if, if the atmosphere feels like a cemetery, um, how do I put this? It's kind of like you can't go from 10 to 0, you have to go from 10 to 9 to 8 to 7, and, and Capricorn just feels like 0 energy level, so um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but either way, we've next next week at least around the 20th 21st we will have overcome the hardships um the probably the uh, the overcome a lot of the difficulty things will get easier just because we're stronger <laughs> not because um well to an extent instead of having complete restriction complete you know tyranny i guess you could say it'll be on and off which is quite nice <laughs> compared to what we've had um and you know once this sun gets out of capricorn because it was last year when the sun went into capricorn this is actually when this all started uh if you were perceptive you would you felt you probably felt that you probably know what i'm talking about um that's really when the influences kind of went to shit um so yeah this is you know one year on and we're a bit stronger and and um here's to a good new year eh? so uh yeah, enjoy yourself and uh hope you found this informative